Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and what you're looking at is a tick chart of the S&P 500. Um, this is just this morning for November the 30th, uh, starting around 5 o'clock in the pre-market. Um, I've got these marked here and here. You'll notice just some small uh, marks that I'm making on the chart. These are where my method would be giving me uh, trades to go long and short, 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 long. Um, this could be a little tough to grab. It could be a little quick. It might have gotten away from me. But uh, these are just some of the trade, the potential trades in this time frame. I don't really trade this time frame, uh, but I'm showing it to you just because it's a little easier to, to spot. Uh, I look at a time frame smaller than this, and one that's larger than this, and yet one that's even a lot larger than that. So this is just something in the middle that I can um, point out a little easier as it goes through pretty quick. Um, 650, so after the open, the open was just here, we had a trade short, another one short, long, short. So there's four trades in 15 minutes in this time frame. Uh, there's fifth trade just before seven, uh, nice move all the way up in here, several points, about five, good five point trade. Um, this little move here, long, short, long. It's a little bit of a whipsaw in there. If you're in the, any of those trades for anything longer than just a, a short uh, scalp, um, probably be getting stopped out on some of that. But uh, many times, uh, that's all I'm I'm doing is just scalping uh, two, three, four ticks out of some of these turns, especially if um, the market is uh, undecided on which direction. Uh, wants to really go. Sometimes it's very clear and you can stay with the trend and stay with the trade for a lot longer but um, it just depends. So anyway there's 730, there's a long trade, short and there's a couple other spots in there to get short as well. This one here is pretty clear to me. Um, continues down. That was a really big move. Uh, looked like a 10 point move there from top to bottom. And that happened in about good 40, eh, maybe about an hour. It's about an hour move from top to bottom. A little bounce here off the bottom. Again, a lot of times these little bounces in here are just going to be for small. Uh, if I'm counter going counter trend, it's just going to be two, three, maybe, you know, four ticks probably at the most initially. Um, there are some better trades coming once the market does bottom. Um, we do make like a double bottom in here, but um, it's a little bit better footing for the market to potentially make a bigger trade. So these were the few trades that I, that I took uh, short for a point, then closed the other half out for a half point, then long in here for a point, one, two, three, four, yeah, point, and then a point and a half on the second half. Um, those two trades right there is really all I needed. To, uh, really that's um, three averaging. There's uh, over two point average on, on these two little trades here. I did have this trade right um, I don't remember exactly what happened uh, with that. I closed it out at break even, but uh, it did work out. It was a good trade actually, but I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. I uh, pretty much had my daily goal right there. And you can see this was a good little trade short. Um, I did take another half point trade right in here. Um, this was all in, all out. Another, this here I sold some at three ticks and some at two. And it averaged it out at um, at two and a half ticks right here. So, and actually, I took a break. I was working with someone, uh, another trader in here. So, actually, I did see some higher prices, but I just elected to close it out. This was another nice little trade there. Some few trades in there. I did uh, totally. My timing was totally off in here. Thought I could squeeze out a couple trades. I was way off. Um, in here so I closed this out quickly and again my buy was not a very good uh, I did not time that very good at all so I just took a one tick loss in that I could have probably got out of break even but anyway there was a few more turns in the market uh, the rest of the day you can see those as they're identified nice big rally there that, uh, that I missed but I really wasn't looking for big monster rally but it did move up nicely Anyway, that's the those are the turns, and that's what I traded today. Um, it's okay, um, we'll see tomorrow um, how tomorrow turns out. But that's it for now. Vince at Sniper Day Trading.